Hey everyone, Kevin here at Molten Works. I'm going to show you today how to program your Scut Kiln, if that's the brand that you are using. Uh, I'll be doing other videos to show other controllers, and if you don't see the controller that you're using, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you get that set up and programmed. But anyway, back to this controller. I have the uh, Scut GM 1414. Uh, it's kind of a bathtub shaped kiln, pretty big kiln if you're uh, using it at home. Uh, but if you do have it, awesome. If not, any kind of uh, scut controller is going to be similar or the same. So what I'm going to show you is kind of walk you through all the different buttons. Uh, and then I'm going to include in the description the actual firing schedule that I use for full fusing. If you'd like to see other videos on tack fusing, slumping, uh, you know, depending on what you're shaping, I'm going to also show those videos. If you don't see the video that you're looking for, feel free to reach out and I'm happy to produce a video that shows uh, kind of what's going on with the fused glass kiln that you're using. All right, so this is the main controller of the scut kiln that we have. A uh, couple notable things. You will see that they actually include a glass fire program. It's kind of a general program. I don't really like to use it. I like to create my own. So I'm going to walk you through what buttons you're kind of hitting as well as what it all means. So as you're setting up your kiln, uh, you'll see this ramp hold button here. Okay, so you want to press that and if nothing happens, I'm going to click stop just to make sure and then we can program it. Okay, now for programming purposes, we are going to start with program one, so there's six different options. Uh, it doesn't go up to seven, eight, or nine, but you can pre-program uh, slots one through six here. Okay, so we're going to go through program one. Uh, now for full fuse is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to kind of reprogram this kiln. Uh, for those of you watching this, your, your kiln may not be set up at all, or you may want to adjust your firing. So as you're working here, what you want to do is you want to first uh, look at what pops up. That is segments. Um, that's of course after I hit one, so program one. Number of segments is going to be how many different stages of your program there are going to be. In this case, we're going to do five. Okay, so there's three things that come up per stage. Okay, you have your ramp, which is the rate that it increases in temperature or goes down. You have your temperature that it's achieving, and you have the time that you want it to sit there. Okay, so first you can see I have 400 degrees an hour. Uh, that is kind of my standard time for most normal size projects up to, I'd say, 10 inches. Uh, anything bigger, you may want to consider going slower as you ramp up. But I go from 400 degrees an hour up to 1,000 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it there, not at all. So I'm just creating the step to go slowly up to 1,000. That allows the glass to prepare and kind of relax. And then after that, we're going to go to our desired temperature. So rate two, the nines mean as fast as possible. We're going to rate, ramp up as quickly as we can to the full fusing temperature, which is actually going to be right around um, 1450 to 1460. Now I do recommend that you run some samples, uh, some tests for this, as every kiln's a little different. Uh, some of my kilns run at 1450, while other kilns run up to 1470 for that full fuse uh, temperature. So once I put input the top temperature I want, I'm gonna click enter one more time. Now uh, when you're holding it for full fuse, I typically do nine minutes. Again, this is based on your kiln, so definitely watch it and record your results. Okay, now after that we're gonna go to the rate three, that's going to be as fast as possible down to 950. Okay, 950 is your annealing temperature. So when you're holding there, you want to hold it for an hour. It's going to allow the glass to relax. If you just cool it straight down, you run the risk of it breaking. Uh, and it may not even be right away, but down the road, because it wasn't annealed properly, it's going to break. Okay, so that's for an hour. We're going to go now to rate four. Um, rate four, I like to go down to 300 degrees per hour. and go down to 500 is pretty good, okay? This second part you can kind of alter a little bit. I don't hold it for any. And then after that, I'm actually gonna go down 500 degrees an hour just to 200, okay? And I'm gonna hold that for zero, all right? Once you click through that, you're gonna see alarm. This is a chance that you can set an alarm to watch your projects. Uh, especially if you're new at this, I do recommend uh, that you time it and then you can actually watch and see what happens as it's heating up and then you can adjust. Down here is a cool feature. You can add five minutes, you can add five degrees, 
you can check where it currently is. And if you're done and it's ready to be annealed and go to phase three, you can click anneal now and that'll jump it to the next segment, okay? But now after I've clicked alarm, it goes back through this kind of idle mode and all you have to do to start your kiln is press that start button, okay? Now, if you weren't sure if you uh, programmed the right thing or you wanna go back and check it, you can always click this review button here and you can just run through your segments, okay? It'll automatically tell you the different rates that it's going through, which is pretty handy. And then of course you can hear that clicking. That means the kiln is actually on and running. I don't have anything in there, so I'll stop it. But we can cycle through all of this and run. Now a lot of these other buttons aren't as necessary. The one other thing I'd like to show you though, as I stop this here, is the menu button, okay? So if you click it once, it's gonna ask you, that's where you can again set up your alarm. If I click it again, you can actually set a delay. So if you want to wait, say a couple hours before it starts, so that you can be home and watch it, depending on uh, what you're doing, you can click on the delay and hit enter. And now it's gonna ask you how long do you want to delay. So in this case, let's say we'll do it for two hours. All right, so we delay it for two hours, we click enter. The kiln automatically with the scuts then starts. You have two hours on the clock and then it will start um, counting down and you can always check back with your controller and um, see about that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I will be producing plenty more videos on different kind of controllers as well as answering all your fuse glass questions. Thanks for watching.